So you have to write a paper, part one. The first thing you're going to start with is a great introduction. You need to make sure that your introduction has three things, a hook, a thesis statement, and some support. A hook is going to get people interested in what you have to say. It can be a question, a statistic or fact, or an interesting quote or personal story. An example of a hook could be, why should students have to take an exam at the end of the year? Another example might be something like, of about 3 million youth that are injured every year playing sports or participating in recreational activities, only 25% are treated in hospital emergency rooms. Finally, you might use a famous quote like John F. Kennedy once said, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. When you have your hook, you're going to have your thesis statement come next. Your thesis is going to present your opinion or view on the topic. You need to make sure that it doesn't use first person pronouns like I, me, my, or state things like my opinion is. Instead, it's going to be a direct statement that really tells people how you feel about your overall topic. Finally, you need to support your thesis with some statements. There are typically three support statements and they create a roadmap for your overall paper. According to NPR's Jennifer Ludden, over half of 17-year-old students admit to only reading for enjoyment once or twice a year. This decline is devastating for our youth as reading for pleasure offers so many more benefits than just a hobby to kill time. Avid readers can not only have a more extensive vocabulary than their peers, but they also tend to have better reading comprehension skills and more general knowledge. You know that my opinion is that this decline in reading for pleasure is devastating, but I support it with these ideas that people who read have better extensive vocabulary and better reading comprehension skills and more general knowledge. So, after you've done all that, you need an interesting conclusion that ties it all together and transitions into the rest of your paper. Once you have that, you're finished and you've got the great start to a perfect paper.